All right, boys, you ready to start the Pokemon Fire Red playthrough? Hell yeah, I love everything about Pokemon. What about you, Donald? Uh, I mean, I guess it's okay. At least it's not that red and blue crap Joe gets hard over, so I can't complain. Shut the fuck up, Donald. Pokemon Red and Blue are the absolute classics. You're missing out for sure. All right, guys, let's take it down a notch. We ended up compromising so that we'd play the remade version of those games. Just chill the fuck out. All right, fine. So which starter are we going to decide on? Hmm, I say we do best two out of three. Charmander is the only Here option. Here we fucking go again. Charizard is the goaded Pokemon in this game, and there is no other good option. Charmander is the way to go. Honestly, Joe, the Charizard line is overrated as fuck. Fuck off, It's only home. popular because of the anime. Okay, let's calm down. Let's talk about it when we have to decide. Man, look at that female Nidoran. This game is just amazing. Keep your fucking pants on, Joe. Nobody wants to see you without them. Fuck off, Donald. I'm just appreciating these designs. Oh, I'm definitely picking the girl. She's fucking beautiful. Jesus fucking Christ, Joe. She's like 10. I'm with Donald on this one. You're weird as fuck for saying that, Joe. What should we name her then? Definitely not fucking Joe or Jill or whatever the fuck your senile ass is coming up with. How about POTUS? Yeah, that works for me. And fuck you, Donald. I could have come up with a good name, too. Oh, yeah, definitely. Keep telling yourself that. Okay, what name do you want to give our rival? Let's name him China, because fuck China, right? And I'm the one with bad names. Let's just stick with Gary. Gotta stick with the classics. How the fuck do you even remember Gary when you can't even remember what you had for fucking lunch? Yeah, Joe, I'm also wondering, too. Fuck you both. Why wouldn't I remember the most important and best rival Ash Ketchum has ever had? In life, you have to remember the important things. For once, Joe, I will agree with you. Gary is by far Ash's best and most important rival. Wow, I never thought this day would come, that you two actually agreed on something. Don't get too excited. I'm sure there's going to be stuff that Sleepy Joe will say that I'll disagree with. Bitch, let me have this moment. I'm so fucking good at the game that I'm even going to remember the potion that's in our PC at home. Damn, Joe, that's impressive. I'll give it to you. Not bad, Joe, but I don't think we should use potions so we can challenge ourselves more throughout this playthrough. After all, it is Pokemon. Fuck you, Barack. Healing items like potions are meant to be in the game. I'll do whatever the hell I want. Okay, then let's compromise since I'm the only smart one here. Since Joe is playing the emulator right now, he can do what he chooses to do. But when it's our turn to play the emulator, we can do whatever the fuck we want. What the fuck? Donald being smart and Joe remembering shit? What kind of alternate universe am I living in? Am I fucking dreaming? Michelle, come here and pinch me. Yeah, for real, but okay, boys, we gotta pick a starter, and I think the only option here is Charmander. My vote is Bulbasaur, easily one of the most underappreciated starters in all of Pokemon. What the hell are both of you guys on? Squirtle is by far the best starter, and it's not even close. Shut the fuck up. Charmander is the one I'm going with since I'm the one playing the fucking emulator. You two can just cry about it. Charmander is the best starter? Bitch Charizard has wings and it can't even fucking learn fly. So much for your useless ass starter. Shut the fuck up, Donald. Venusaur is literally an obese plant, which is probably why you want that to be your starter. Okay, Joe, let's compromise. We'll let you pick Charmander, but let Donald pick the starter for the Heart Gold and Soul Silver series, and I'll pick the starter for the Emerald series. Okay, thank you, Barack. Not a bad idea from a Democrat Barack. Okay, what should we name this Charmander? Let's name it Papa Joe. Clearly after the greatest president of all time and the greatest human of all time. Jesus fucking Christ, Joe. I knew you were going to start your bullshit at some point. Let's name it fucking Donald, the actual greatest president of all time, as well as the actual greatest human of all time. Holy shit, both of you guys are delusional as fuck. Let's just name it George. Charmander is kind of adorable and same with Curious George. Oh, I like that, Barack. Good shit. I guess that's not a terrible name. How are we going to construct the rest of our team, though? Well, since Joe got the starter, I say Donald and I get to pick one Pokemon each. That makes it three in our party. Each of the remaining three spots will be determined by two of us. For example, Joe and Donald will pick one, Joe and I will pick one, and Donald and I will pick one. Make sense? Yeah, I'm cool with that. Great fucking idea, Barack. I didn't know you were capable of such good ideas as well as making good decisions. Oh, look at this bitch. He thinks he's already better than us. We can't allow him to beat us, right, boys? Fuck no. You better beat his ass, Joe. 
I mean, he does have Squirtle, so it's highly possible. Shut the fuck up, Barack. Since I am the Pokemon master, I know that this Squirtle does not have Water Gun yet. Hence, I will be able to beat him comfortably. Yeah, for real, Barack, you're making me agree with Joe here. Your dumbass only has to click A on Scratch and you'll win. It's not that fucking hard. Stop being a negative Nancy. Well, no shit. I fucking knew that already. I just wanted to see you and Joe agree one more time. It just makes me so happy that I want to cry. What the fuck is wrong with you, Barack? Nothing is wrong with me. I'm playing chess while you guys are playing checkers. GG, get wrecked. Wait, we're playing checkers and Barack is playing chess? I thought we were playing Pokemon. What the fuck, guys? Jesus fucking Christ, Joe. I knew your senile ass wasn't going to remain intact throughout. That's just a fucking saying. Nobody is actually playing chess or checkers. Shut the fuck up, Donald. I just beat my rival and I beat Barack's favorite fucking starter. This just goes to show that Charmander is the best starter. Joe, shut your dumb ass up. You know good and damn well that this battle literally doesn't mean shit. It's literally a scratch versus tackle fight. It doesn't matter. Charmander will carry us throughout the game. Just watch him cook. Yeah, no fuck that. Charmander is not gonna fucking cook against Brock. We'll need something effective for that. I say we add Mankey to the team. What do you think, Brock? I say that's the best fucking idea you've ever had, Donald. And after watching you play the game of life, I didn't think your brain would ever recover from your stupidity. Shut the fuck up, Barack. You know good and damn well that the game of life is a purely luck-based game. Whatever you tell yourself to help you sleep at night. Regardless, I think adding Mankey will be perfect to the team. It's literally perfect against Brock. And Primeape will be a beast later, too. Okay, you heard us, Joe. Go catch a fucking Mankey. Shut the fuck up, Donald. Don't talk to me like I'm your bitch. I don't have to fucking catch a goddamn Mankey. Joe, don't be like that. We compromised about the construction of our team, and that's the Pokemon Donald and I chose. Stop pouting and just catch a Mankey. For fuck's sake, calm your titties. I will do that as soon as I progress with the game a bit. Joe, does your dementia ass even know what to do at this point? Shut your obese ass up, Donald. Of course I know what to fucking do. That's to be Professor Oak's bitch and to deliver his parcel back to him in the lab. Okay, calm down. I just wanted to make sure you knew what you were doing. Calm down. Bitch, I'll have you know oh, that boy, I am a reigning go. defending champion from Pokemon Red and Fire Red. I'm also proud to say that I only used 11 full restores during my what Elite Four run in the Fire Red game. Put some respect on my name, bitch. Okay, Joe, no offense, but using 11 full restores in a kid game like Pokemon is just pathetic. Nobody is going to put respect on your name if you're going to brag like that, that's for sure. Shut the fuck up, Barack. It's literally Pokemon. I can do whatever the hell I want. If I beat the Elite Four with or without potions, why does it fucking matter? The end result is still the same. Oh, look, my name is Barack. I beat the Elite Four without full restores. I'm so goaded. Fuck off, Joe. Jesus fucking Christ. And here I thought this kind of arguing only happened between Democrats and Republicans, not just between Democrats. You guys need to take some chill pills. Hey, Donald. What, Barack? Tell me to take a fucking chill pill one more time and I swear to God that I'm going to fucking squeeze the orange off of you. Like how someone would squeeze tangerine juice when they're what fucking the fuck? sick. That's what you're going to be, but worse. Okay, how about we all take a deep breathe now? Look, I got Oak's parcel. Once we finish being his bitch, we can actually catch a manky and progress with the game, right? Okay, Joe, I agree with you about taking a deep breath, but we're still going to be Professor Oak's bitch. I mean, aren't we technically doing his work by encountering and catching Pokemon? You're not wrong, Donald. I guess we'll remain being his bitch then, huh? Loki, we're having to do all the dirty work. Why would it be okay for a 10-year-old girl to travel the world by herself with monsters? And why is it okay for her to fight and catch monsters by herself too? Damn, her mom is one irresponsible bitch, that's for sure. I'm not gonna disagree with you on that, Barack. It's all good, boys. We're almost done delivering this fucking parcel. Then we can actually move forward with the game. It's about damn time. Honestly, I'm surprised that you haven't fallen asleep, Joe. Seriously, Donald, you want to start more shit up again? Come on, Donald, let's not get into this again. Let's just put all of our frustrations onto Professor Oak's bitch ass for making us his delivery driver. Okay, you're right. Fuck Professor Oak. Seriously? Professor Oak? What kind of name is that? Your lazy ass couldn't even pick up a parcel and you made a 10-year-old girl risk her life to do it for you. Professor Oak should be in jail. 
He's a bitch, and his grandson Gary is a bitch too. Fuck them and their family. Damn, go off then, bitch. I like it when you're roasting someone that's not me. It's actually pretty good. Damn, Donald. When I said to put our frustrations towards Professor Oak, I didn't think you would end this man's career. Good shit. And of course, Gary is continuing to be a bitch by not giving us the town map. It's okay, let's get that shit from his sister and fuck her right in the pussy for it. Shit, I'm down, Donald. Great fucking idea. What the fuck, Joe? This is a video game. I'm down to get the map. I don't know about the second part, though. Oh shit, thanks, Daisy. Man, I knew there was something good about her. She certainly smells like a Daisy, too. Oh, the things that I would- Okay, I'm gonna have to stop you right there, Joe. You need to stop this behavior immediately. Okay, well, it's nice to finally move on. Let's catch that fucking manky that we've been talking about. Sounds good. Joe, you can catch a manky at Route 22 right before the rival battle. Holy shit. You two are acting like this is my first time playing. Get a manky, get a manky, get a manky, get a manky. Calm your fucking titties. I will do just that, but let me train up Charmander up a little bit first, so we'll be good for the rival battle. Damn, Joe, no need to get riled up. We just wanted to let you know, just in case. Yeah, our bad, Joe. We didn't mean it like that. It's okay. That's my bad for getting annoyed. Professor Oak really did a number on us, huh? Uh, you pause on that. What the fuck? Joe, get out of here with that sus shit. Calm the fuck down. I didn't mean that like I did a number on Daisy. Jesus Christ. I mean, how Professor Oak made us super frustrated. You're making it worse and worse. I'd suggest to just change the topic. Okay, let's just go to the Mart to buy some Pokeballs. If you and Donald don't plan on using health items, then there is no point in buying them, right? You would be correct, Joe. Are you seriously gonna use health items during this game, Joe? Don't you wanna join us in the no health item gang? Yeah, no, I'm good. Uh, Donald? What, Barack? The no health item gang? Seriously? You couldn't come up with something better? Fuck off, Barack. If you don't like it, then come up with something better then. Okay, guys, calm the fuck down. You know that manky you two have been bitching about for ages now? I'm finally gonna catch one. Finally, Joe, there's also a- Shut the fuck up, Barack. I know there's a fucking potion here. You're like that fucking annoying ass English teacher that wouldn't shut the fuck up about how disappointed she is in her class and would always say never in my 30 years of teaching. Ha 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 ha, good one, Joe. Barack, he roasted the fuck out of you. Who knew Joe was cooking like this? Fuck you. All right, boys, let's see. Let's fuck yes! Go. All right, Joe, don't fuck this up. It's a nice level three manky. Calm your titties, it's just a fucking manky. One scratch and one throw should catch this. Yeah, for real, Donald, it's not like we're catching Mew or Mewtwo yet. Oh shit, I forgot about them. I'm excited for that too. One jiggle, two jiggles, three jiggles. Caught by Papa Joe. Good shit, Joe. By the way, what should we name this manky? Oh, oh, I got an idea. Shut the fuck up, Donald. Don't you even think about saying it. I swear to God, I will send missile strikes to your fucking house, along with the FBI SWAT team, if you don't shut your obese Cheeto-looking ass up. Okay, then what do we name it then? Well, since Primeape is one of the best fighters there are in all of Pokemon, I say we name it Mike Tyson, who is also one of the greatest, if not the greatest fighters of all time. Once again, Barack, not a bad name. Any objections, Donald? Yeah, no objection here. There better be no objection. I swear, Donald, you almost got me to my breaking point. You better bring it down a notch. All right, shit, I'll stop. Just get off my ass already. Honestly, Joe, I'm surprised that you even know how to spell his name correctly. Shut the fuck up, Donald. Just because your ass got blasted from by Barack, that doesn't mean you can start clowning me. Yeah, for real, Donald, just stop your bullshit altogether. All right, boys, if you don't mind, I'm going to do some training to our Charmander for the rival battle. If memory serves correctly, then his highest level Pokemon is nine, so I think I'll train Charmander up to nine if that's okay. Yeah, that sounds like a good plan, Joe. What do you think, Donald? Yeah, that's fine with me as long as this doesn't take too long. I have to take Melania soon to her appointment to get some facial structure and surgical repairs for her face. Damn again, I thought she got one done literally last week. Must be tough, huh? Here we go again. 
Shut the fuck up, Joe. I wouldn't be talking. If we're talking about who needs it more, then it's definitely Jill. Isn't she in her final stages of decompositions anyways? I know for sure that she could use a new look. Okay, can you two stop with the bickering? We don't have to comment on each other's wives every fucking time we play a game. Shut the fuck up, Barack. You wouldn't know what it's like to have someone say something about your wife. What the hell are you talking about, Donald? People have said so many things about Michelle. Are you on something right now? Did you forget about her? Are you entering the first stage of dementia now? Hey, Obama, you just got fucking baited. Wait, what? Obama, I don't know of a Michelle. Are you referring to your husband, Michael? You call that your wife? She's more of a man than you'll ever be? That's the world's biggest kept secret. She should have had the title, the first man instead of the first lady, because boy, believe me, there's nothing ladylike about her. God damn it, Barack. I don't know how you didn't see that coming from a mile away. I can't defend you on this. Honestly, Joe, I'm kind of ashamed with myself for not being able to see that one coming. Damn, I feel like a failure. Is this your first time feeling like a failure? I thought this feeling should feel recognizable since you've constantly failed as a president for eight fucking years. You know what? I'm just going to stop fucking talking until this goddamn Charmander is level nine. Because no matter what I say, fat-ass Donald is always going to have something to say about me, my wife, my life, or my presidency. Don't worry, Barack. Papa Joe is here for you. Joe, that does not make me feel any better. And please don't call yourself Papa Joe. You know Fuck you, you haven't Barack. been that shit since the Cold War or some crap like that. I've been trying to tell him to not call himself Papa Joe. His senile ass just doesn't listen. All right, will you two stop bitching? Charmander is finally level nine, so we can battle the rival now. It's about fucking damn time. Let's do this. Hmm, honestly, I think I'll use the potion now just so I can save us a trip to the Pokemon Center. That okay? I'm just fucking lazy. Yeah, that's fine. Do whatever the fuck you want. Donald and I aren't going to use potions anyway, so you can just get rid of them now. Joe, I know I've been excited for Mankey, but Mankey can't do shit in this battle, so just let Charmander cook. Yeah, yeah, I know what to do. Let's teach this little bitch a lesson. Kick his ass, Joe. I plan on doing that, Barack. Fuck this guy. He's the grandson of that worthless old hag of a Pokemon professor who makes 10-year-old girls fight monsters. Ember should take care of this trash-ass Pidgey pretty easily. Man, fuck this bullshit sand attack. I'll go one more Ember and then switch out to Mankey. Joe, just finish off the damn Pidgey, holy shit. Fuck off, Barack. I know what I'm doing. I don't want my accuracy lowered for the fight against that bitch-ass Squirtle. Plus, I can get experience for Mankey. It's a win-win situation. Surprisingly, I have to agree with Joe here, Barack. Just let him cook. I'm curious to see how this works out. I mean, I guess it'll be okay since Joe is using potions, but seriously? Please don't use a fucking potion in one of the first rival battles in this game. There's nothing wrong with using potions in this fucking game. They literally gave me two fucking potions for free. I'll do what I have to do to win. Okay, but still be careful. I don't trust your brain working for this long consecutively. Just play safely. How many times do I have to say this, Barack? Say what? Let Papa Joe cook. Jesus fucking Christ. What's your fucking plan here, Joe? Fuck, 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 fuck. I don't know what to do. Joe, what the hell was that? Is your brain in the shits now? I fucking knew it. Joe's brain can't work a consecutively long period of time. He's tripping out right now. Donald, we need to help him. Don't worry. Papa Joe is here. I will lower his attack and use a potion when I need to. Holy shit, Joe. If your pussy senile ass is just going to use a potion, then just click A on scratch. That's all your dumbass needs to do if you want to win. Joe, what the fuck are you using Ember for? You do realize fire is not good against water, right? Hmm. What, I need to have water? I already had water five minutes ago. Jesus fucking Christ, Barack, we're fucking done for. Joe's brain is fucking in the dumpster right now. Joe, use a fucking potion or something. Okay, both of you guys calm your fucking titties. I know what the fuck I'm doing because I am the Pokemon master. Let me cook, bitches. I can't fucking believe that even with the usage of a potion, this game is still fucking close. Do you not feel ashamed, Joe? Fuck no. A win is a win regardless of how you get it. Why would I ever feel ashamed after a win? That's just a pathetic mindset to have if you ask me. To be honest, Joe, I wasn't sure that your dumb ass could get this far in the game, delivering a parcel, catching a manky, and defeating our rival regardless if you used a potion or not is a big fucking deal for someone who is in the advanced stages of dementia. 
Good shit, Joe. Good shit. Hmm, I'm not sure how to take that, but I'll take that as a compliment. Thanks, Donald, for your emotional support. You really helped me win when the going got tough. Seriously? Joe almost died even when he used a fucking potion. Hmm, whatever, I guess. So we're done for today, right? Yeah, I have to hop off. I have to take Melania to her appointment. Will you guys be free tomorrow? Yeah, I'll be free. I'll be free too. Who wants the saved file for the emulator for tomorrow? Let Barack have it for tomorrow. I'll go after that since you have to save the best for last. Let's see what Barack is made of. I'm curious to see how he plays this. Okay, then I'll send it over to you, Barack. Make sure you're cooking when you play. For sure, guys. I'm gonna hop off, but I'll see y'all tomorrow. Sounds good. See you guys. Peace out, guys. You boys ready to continue our Pokemon Fire Red playthrough? Hell yeah, Barack. Let's do this. What about you, Donald? Of course I am Joe. I'm curious to see how Barack plays this. Oh, don't worry, Donald. I will actually cook. Unlike Joe, who needed to use potions in the second rival battle. Screw you, Barack. I still completed the job. Since you're so hell-bent about not using potions, I'd like to see you not use potions when the going gets tough. Obama, what the hell are you doing? Shut the hell up, Donald. Antidotes are not potions. Therefore, I am not using health items. Yeah, that's bullshit. And you know the Viridian Forest is coming up. I just don't want to run back to the Pokemon Center every time I get poisoned. Whatever you say, Barack, you better fucking cook today. Oh, don't fucking worry. Let the Abominator do his thing. Jesus fucking Christ. Look at this senile ass motherfucker. His old ass doesn't think we know how to catch Pokemon. Seriously, Joe? Calling someone a senile ass is definitely the last thing you should call someone. Fuck you, After Donald. all, this old fuck looks like you. Yeah? Well, at least I fucking damaged the Mankey before catching the damn thing because a Pokemon master like me should always know to damage the opposing Pokemon before catching it. This old fuck doesn't even do that. Okay, I'll give you that one, Joe. Donald, he does have a point there. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Let's just move on with the fucking game. Calm your fucking obese and impatient ass, Donald. I will do that as soon as this old hag leaves us alone. Speaking of progressing with the game, how far will we go today, Barack? Hmm, I think I'll go through the Viridian Forest and try Brock's gym. What do you guys think? Yeah, I'm fine with that. What about you, Donald? I'm fine with Barack going through the Viridian Forest. I'm not sure that we're high enough level to go against Brock yet. I think Barack is getting too ahead of himself. Well, I guess there's only one way to find out, right, Donald? Yeah, and what's that? Let the Abominator cook. Jesus fucking Christ. All right, Barack, make sure you don't get lost in the forest. It can be tricky. Shut the fuck up, Joe. Unlike you, I'm not in my advanced stages of dementia, so I think I'll be okay. Yeah, for real, Joe. You're making me agree with fucking Barack. Even with your advanced stages of dementia, even you should be able to navigate through this forest. It's not that fucking hard. You two should honestly go fuck yourselves. All I said was to be careful and I got a fucking two minute soliloquy as to why I'm a demented old fuck. Screw you guys. Joe, calm your fucking titties. Just know that it's Barack playing and I trust him playing this game way more than you. Don't take it personally though. Okay, let's calm it down a bit. Let's focus up on the trainer battles since we got a few of them coming up. Well, 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 here's your first challenge, Barack. Let's see how you do. As long as you have the goat Charmander, this will be a breeze. All you need to do is fucking click on Ember. Joe, shut the fuck up. I know what to do. Of course it's a fucking Weedle. This bitch is going to try spamming Poison Sting and get every fucking poison off imaginable. Fuck this useless ass bitch. Complaining already? Damn, don't start making excuses now. Agreed, Donald. See, oh my fucking god, fuck this fucking useless ass Weedle. I will fucking burn this entire Pokemon evolution line to a goddamn crisp. Holy fucking shit, Barack. How are you this fucking bad at the game? Literally, the first fucking Pokemon in the forest, and you're already getting fucked. And here I thought Sleepy Joe was worse than you. Yeah, for real, Barack, you're literal dog shit at the game. Will you two literally shut the fuck up? I only got fucking poisoned because I'm switch training this useless ass Mankey. Let the Abominator cook. Hey, Barack. What, Donald? I think that's called a skill issue. Shut the fuck up, you hot dog finger fuck. I'd like to see you do better. Seriously, Barack? Useless ass manky, you say? Then why were you and fucking Donald getting so hard over this useless ass piece of shit, huh? Are you that fucking stupid Joe? It's not fucking rocket science. 
Charmander can't do shit against Brock, but Mankey can once it learns low kick and even karate chop. Honestly, how the fuck is your senile ass the President of the United States? Shut the fuck up, Barack. Your pussy ass is already using health items when you criticized me for it. Okay, both of you guys calm your fucking titties. I'll be the fucking mediator. Joe, how the fuck is your stupid senile ass the President of the United States? And Barack, how the fuck are you using healing items when your bitch ass was complaining to Joe all of last game? Now fucking stop arguing. Fine, he'll fucking stop. And oh look, another fucking Weedle. Oh great, here we fucking go again. Honestly, Barack, I don't have any trust that you'll be able to beat Brock this video when you literally struggle against some random fucking Weedle. Shut the fuck up. I'm literally going to cook this fucking Weedle for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Nobody wants your fucking cooking when you're already struggling this much and we're not even fucking halfway done with the forest. Honestly, Joe, I've never thought I'd agree with you this much in one day. Good shit. Okay, can you two literally stop sucking each other off? How many times do I have to tell you that I'm switch training the Mankey for the gym battle? You guys both need to shut the fuck up. You're fucking disgusting, Barack. Joe and I would never suck each other off. Fuck you. Wait, really, Donald? I thought we were developing a unique connection. What the fuck, hell no. Get out of here with that sus shit, you demented old hag. Jesus fucking Christ, you two are making Pokemon harder to play with your fucking bullshit. Now you know why I didn't join you guys for seven days to die. Shut the fuck up, Barack. Now come here and give Papa Joe a big kiss on the mouth. What the fuck? Joe, I swear to God, if you don't get out of here with your sus shit, I will literally leave the fucking call and will never play with you two again. Okay, calm your fucking titties. I just wanted you to get distracted so you wouldn't perform terribly from the pressure of playing Pokemon. It's working all because of me. GG, get wrecked. I highly doubt that, but I will not lie, Barack. Joe definitely helped you with your shitty ass gameplay. Fuck you both. Just watch me dominate the rest of this forest and more importantly, Brock's shitty gym. Holy shit, Barack. Let your gameplay do the talking. There's no point in telling us this because it sounds like you're trying to convince yourself that you're good at the game, when in reality, you're not. Fuck off, Donald. By the way, guys, did you guys want me to catch any Pokemon for our party? No, I'm okay, Barack. The Pokemon I want are not available until later in the game. Besides, I don't think I'd trust your ability to catch a fucking Pokemon at this point. Fuck you, Joe. What about you, Donald? Same here. The Pokemon I want are not going to be available in the forest. I will probably catch a Pokemon when it's my turn to play, though. Sounds good. I'm actually curious to know what it is. Do you mind telling us, Donald? Keep your fucking pants on, Barack. And no, I will not tell you guys. It's going to be a surprise when the goat main dominant Donald takes control of the game. Okay, just make sure it's not a type that we have yet and make sure it's a type that we need. Are you serious, Joe? Here we fucking go. This is go. not my fucking first time playing Pokemon. If you call yourself the Pokemon Master, then I am literally the fucking god of Pokemon. Don't disrespect me, bitch. Damn, Donald, are you on your fucking period or something? Calm your fucking titties, I was just making sure. Yeah, Donald, I have to agree with Joe here. There is no need to get that riled up. Just calm the fuck down and enjoy watching my cooking. Despite what Joe said, Barack, I don't think I can calm down. You're literally burning the whole fucking place down with your shitty ass cooking. Get it together, bitch. How much bitching can one obese orange do? I mean, goddamn, my damn ears are getting fucked. I might need surgery after this session. Whoa, 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 whoa. Are you using a fucking potion, Barack? Fuck off, Joe. I don't feel like running to the Pokemon Center. It's not the same concept as you using it for the second fucking rival battle. Shut the fuck up, Barack. Stop making goddamn excuses. Just admit that you're a fucking pussy for backing out on your no health item gang bullshit that you were on last time we played. Holy fucking shit. Joe, you could not be more on point. Barack, you are the biggest pussy ever. Fuck you off. bitched and moaned all game long last time we played, and now you're backing out of it by using a potion yourself. Holy shit, what you have become in the last 10 minutes is absolutely pathetic. Fuck you guys. I refuse to be called a pussy. I used mine so we could save some fucking time. Joe used his in the midst of a battle. Fuck you, Joe, and your demented ass. And fuck you, Donald, and your obese Cheeto-looking ass. I'd rather be called demented than a pussy. Fuck you, Barack. Honestly, Barack, could you hurry the fuck up to Brock? You're talking so much shit that at this point, I want to see you get fucking wrecked. Calm your obese orange titties. I guarantee that I'm going to destroy Brock. Just you guys wait. 
Barack, you know I usually back you up, but how the fuck do you plan on beating Brock when Mankey is only level seven? Shouldn't you train him up more after the forest? Hmm, I don't think so. I think Mankey should get a couple of levels by the end of the forest, and then another level or so after the trainer in the gym. I think Mankey should be fine considering how it will have learned low kick by that point. Barack, although low kick should do massive damage, especially to Onyx, I'm not sure if Mankey will be able to take a rock tomb attack or something like that. It's still under leveled regardless of how you want to look at this. Maybe you're right, Donald, but I'll still try regardless. Okay, Obama, kind of ballsy. I like that. Let's just see if that pays off. If it helps, I do plan on using potions so it'll what help my fuck? odds with the gym battle. And Joe. Before you say anything, I am sorry for how I attacked you last time with regards to using potions. You're right. It doesn't matter how you win as long as you win, and you taught me that. I am sorry, and thank you for making me recognize that. You're all good, Barack. I'm just glad that we don't have to constantly shit on each other for the decisions that we want to make. Damn for once, good shit, guys. I'm proud of us. We don't have to constantly argue, and I'm just glad that we can come together for once in order to take down Brock's bitch ass. Good shit, guys, good shit. So how do you guys want to make up? What the fuck are you talking about, Joe? I mean, do you guys want to make out now or what? Jesus fucking Christ. Fuck us making up. That shit was so short-lived. Get your fucking senile sus ass out of here, Sleepy Joe. Yeah, for real, Joe. Did you have to fucking ruin the only nice thing that's ever happened in our group, seriously? Come on, guys, it's just a fucking joke. Let's not forget that we gotta beat Brock's ass. Don't even fucking talk about beating Brock's ass. You're just making yourself look worse. I'd advise you to just shut the fuck up, and I mean it in a totally nice way. Yeah, for real, Joe, I agree with Donald. You've been saying a lot of sus shit. Regardless, we're almost done with the Viridian Forest, so we can take on Brock's gym after to see if we can defeat him despite being underleveled. Okay, Barack, I agree with you about taking on Brock, but you cannot say I'm the one saying sus shit when you're literally married to your husband, Michael. Ha ha ha, good one, Joe. Even I didn't think of that. Good shit, you old fuck. Damn, even I can't say anything back to that. I'll give you that one, Joe. It's all good, Barack. At least we're done with the fucking Viridian Forest. All those bullshit weedles and poison stings, goddamn. I applaud you for getting past that annoying ass bullshit. Same here, Barack. But now it's time to see what you're really made of. Let's see if you can back up your talk by defeating Brock with an underleveled team. Well, I'm certainly gonna try, guys. And you know what they say, right? No, what, what do they say? Let the Abominator cook. Jesus fucking Christ, Barack. Both you and Joe have to work on your shitty ass nicknames. The Abominator and Papa Joe. Like, what the fuck? I know I shit on you guys a lot, and I know you guys aren't capable of much, but I know you two can come up with better nicknames than those. Shut the fuck up, Donald. Let's not act like Dominant Donald is a good nickname either. At least Papa Joe cooked last time we played, and we will see if the Abominator will cook. How will you fucking cook, Donald? I'll cook the most amazing thing ever, believe me. All right, boys, we're about to start Brock's gym. How are you guys feeling about it? I trust you enough, Barack. Beat the shit out of them. I'm pretty fucking scared, I'm not gonna lie. If it was me playing, I wouldn't be so scared, but I don't know how you'll cook Obama. Don't worry, Donald, we got Mankey for this exact reason. If you don't trust the Obaminator to cook, at least trust Mankey to cook. Okay, that damage wasn't so bad, I guess. Damn, I'm not gonna lie, that Geodude does more than I want it to fucking do. It's okay, Barack, just one more hit, you got it. Good shit, Barack. Now onto the Sandshrew, I believe. Let Charmander cook against that bitch-ass Sandshrew Barack. Don't worry, Joe. I will make sure that I do just that. I'm not going to lie, though. Mankey only being level 9 for the gym battle got me shitting in my pants, Loki. Don't start shitting your pants now. We haven't even gone up against Brock yet. You've been sticking your chest out all game that you're going to battle him regardless of the level difference. Trust the process, bitch. This should be an easy win. Defense Curl does absolutely fucking nothing against Charmander's goaded Ember. Damn, Joe, that Ember did more than I expected. Maybe I was too harsh on Charmander after all. So are you finally admitting that Charmander is the best starter out of all the Kanto starters? Holy shit, Joe, that is not even close to what I fucking said. I hope your brain isn't in the shits now. We're going to need everybody's contribution in order to defeat Brock. I agree with Barack. Joe, get it together, you old hag. 
Tell your brain to work for a few more minutes for fuck's sake. Fuck you both. I don't need to tell my brain shit. It's already working at a perfect rate, so both of you guys need to get off my dick. All right, fine. By the way, I'm going to go heal up real quick if you guys don't mind. Whatever it takes to defeat Brock, just make sure you do Obama. This is a huge fucking step in our journey to become Pokemon masters. The first gym battle out of eight. If we can't beat him in our first try, then we can kiss our hopes of being Pokemon masters goodbye. No pressure, though. I 100% agree with Donald for once. This is where legacies are made, Barack. No one will give a fuck if you defeated the Viridian Forest. People want to see fucking badges. Damn, the way you two are hyping up a fucking kid's game, it makes me feel like I should train Mankey more. Fuck that shit, Obama. Just get in there and beat his ass. You can fucking do it. For real, Barack, you got our support as well. With the power of fucking family and friendship, you shall overcome the challenges of this first gym. Good fucking luck, brother. Thanks, guys. Let's fucking do this shit. Here we go. This fucking music is amazing. A huge reason why I love Gen 1. I know I shit on Gen 1 a lot, Joe, but I have to agree with you. This soundtrack is fucking cracked. Oh, God, a level 12. Hopefully, Mankey can tank a few hits. Don't start acting like a pussy, Barack. A few low kicks will fuck this Geo dude up, believe me. Yeah, I'm with Donald on this one. Trust in the Pokemon that you and Donald got hard over last time we played. He'll kick ass, especially Onyx's ass. Oh, shit. That's quite a bit of damage from a fucking Geo dude. I know what you fucking mean now, Barack, but just trust the process still. Yeah, I'm not exactly worried about the Geo dude now. It's more so of the Onyx I'm worried about. One rock tomb can kill this fucking Mankey. Okay, so what's your plan, Barack? I'm going to send out Charmander as sacrifice and hope that fuck? it can survive for a few turns. My idea is to use Growl to strengthen the chances of Mankey surviving a hit from Onyx. What do you guys think? I don't think it's a bad idea. It just depends how long Charmander can survive, I guess. What do you think, Joe? It's a terrible fucking idea. How fucking dare you, Barack? How dare you make Charmander a fucking sacrifice? I know you hate Charmander, but this is crossing the goddamn line. Go fuck yourself. Shut the fuck up, Joe. How else would you fucking strategize then, uh, huh? Barack? Charmander is fucking useless against this gym, and I just implemented a plan in which Charmander could actually come Barack? in fucking handy. Stop getting fucking hard over Charmander and calm the fuck down. What, Donald? What the fuck do you keep calling my name for? I was trying to make a goddamn point. Calm your fucking titties, Barack, and you too, Joe. Charmander is literally fucking cooking. It's growled so many times, and Onyx hasn't even used Rock Tomb yet. This is a guaranteed fucking win when Mankey comes out. Good shit, Barack. See, this is why Charmander is the fucking goat. Useless in this gym, you say? Charmander is the fucking reason why we're going to win this goddamn gym battle. Oh, fuck, I love Charmander. Can you fucking not bust a nut over this, you demented old fuck? The only fucking reason why Charmander is useful in this battle is because of my strategizing. This isn't something your senile ass could do, Joe. For once, I have to fully agree with Barack. Barack, you are officially cooking. I didn't think you had this in you when you got poisoned by the first fucking Weedle in Viridian Forest. Good shit, keep fucking cooking. Fuck you both. Look at how much Ember is doing. Had Barack been clicking Ember the whole fucking time, Charmander could have taken down Onyx himself. You two are just making this shit more fucking complicated. Shut the fuck up, Joe. It's called securing the win. Onyx's bitch ass just landed its first fucking rock tomb. I had to lower the attack first or else Mankey would get wrecked. I hope your senile ass could comprehend that. Nah, fuck that. You didn't want to secure the win. You just wanted to make the goaded starter Charmander look bad because you're just pouting over the fact that we didn't pick Squirtle. Joe, could you literally shut the fuck up? Barack did a good job preparing for the worst case scenario. We just won our first fucking gym battle. Aren't you the one who always says how you win is not important, but rather the win itself? Use your fucking advice, you old demented goofball. Fucking fine, I didn't like Charmander going down, but I like the win and the badge. Good shit, Barack, and I'm sorry for getting emotional. You're okay, Joe. At the end of the day, we beat this shit together. I'm having a fucking blast playing this game with you guys, I'm not gonna lie. Same here, Barack. What are you going to do with the Rock Tomb TM, by the way? I was thinking of teaching it to Mankey so he has a counter to flying type for now. What do you guys think? Even though you're a Democrat, that was a great fucking idea. Damn, Barack, you were cooking throughout this entire gameplay. Good shit. 
Yeah, for real, Barack, I must admit that you cooked very well, too. Thanks for the compliments, guys. I couldn't have done it without you, too. Are we done for today, by the way? Unfortunately for me, I have to go. Melania wants me to help her with some garden work, so I'll be pretty busy with that for the rest of the day. Will you guys be free tomorrow? Yeah, I'll be free tomorrow. What about you, Joe? Same here. All right, sounds good. By the way, whose turn is it to play the emulator next? I'll just go ahead and send the saved file over. It's Donald's turn for the emulator. I'm curious to see how he plays this. Don't worry, guys. I promise that I will cook a nice gourmet meal for you two when I'm playing this game. Dominant Donald will once again remind everyone who the god of Pokemon is. Just let me know when you send the file over Barack. All right, sounds good. I'll send it over here soon, but I gotta go too. It was fun playing with you guys, and we'll talk tomorrow. Peace out, guys. Gotcha. See you guys tomorrow. See you both tomorrow. I'm super excited to show you guys my gameplay. Until then, boys. All right, boys, you ready to watch me absolutely dominate this game? I'm actually curious, Donald. You've been saying this whole time to save the best for last. Better back it up. Yeah, for real, Donald. Barack and I killed it. You better do the same. Both of you guys, calm your titties. Just watch me cook. Oh, by the way, Donald, I chose a Pokemon for our team since I haven't done one yet. Do you mind getting it along the way? It better not be a pile of poo, Barack. Which one is it? It's Magikarp. God damn it. Jesus fucking Christ, Barack, another Pokemon you want us to switch train? I'm not training that flopping piece of shit. I'll get it, but you're training it yourself. Seriously, Donald, it's not that big of a deal. Gyarados is a fucking beast. Yeah, no fuck that. I'm on Donald's side. Switch training is such a pain in the ass, Barack. If you want that Pokemon so badly, then you fucking train it. For once, Joe, I'm gonna say thank you. I never thought you'd ever side with me, so that means a lot. No problem, Donald. Now will you call me daddy? What the fuck? Jesus fucking Christ, Joe. You better not start with your sus shit again. I swear to fucking God. Okay, it's a fucking joke. Calm your obese titties. Besides, didn't you say that you wanted to catch a Pokemon when it's your turn to play Donald? Which one is it? I'm not telling you. I'll give you a hint, though. It's a king like me. Hmm, okay, I have an idea, but I'm not 100% sure. By the way, Donald, how far do you plan on progressing in this game? I plan on going through these annoying ass trainers and then going through annoying ass Mount Moon if that's okay with you guys. Yeah, that's fine with us. Just don't die. After all, you said you weren't using any potions when you play. Fuck off, Joe. I'll do whatever the hell I want. I won't need potions since I am the goat at this game, but if this game is rigged like the 2020 election, then I might have to offset that. Seriously, Donald, are you seriously calling Pokemon rigged? If you said you're not going to use potions, then be a man and stick by that. Don't be a pussy now. Holy shit, Barack. You out of all people should not be calling anyone a pussy. Joe called your bitch ass out on using potions, and then you apologized to him like the little bitch that you are. Holy shit, I'm losing brain cells. Yeah, same here, Donald. Seriously, Barack, are you entering your first stages of dementia? How do you not remember you crying and apologizing to me for constantly bitching about the usage of potions? Can the both of you two stop sucking each other off so goddamn much? Why do you two always pull shit every fucking time we play a game? I've never seen such dick riding in my life until now. Seriously, Barack, you want us to talk about you and your husband, Michael? Shut the fuck up, you obese wig wearing orange ass fuck. Just concentrate on the fucking game before you eat shit. I'm not like you, Barack. I told you before that I will dominate in this fucking game, and that's exactly what I'm doing. Okay, both of you guys calm your fucking titties. No offense, Donald, but you're just spamming fucking Ember on the Charmander that Barack and I trained. It's not that fucking hard to click A. It wouldn't fucking hurt to train Mankey, you know. Shut the fuck up, you demented old hag. You're popular saying Sleepy Joe. It doesn't matter how you win. All that matters is getting the win. Now shut the fuck up. Damn, okay, let's all take a deep fucking breath here. I don't want us getting this riled up when there's no need to. Okay, fine, you're right, Barack. But seriously, guys, how the fuck do you guys not know what I'm trying to fucking do? Honestly, Donald, I have no problem with your gameplay so far. In fact, I do know what you're trying to do. What about you, Joe? I don't see any fucking cooking whatsoever if that's what you're trying to imply. You and Donald nearly busted a fucking nut when it fuck came to you. catching a fucking Mankey. And now Donald's not even using Mankey. So what the fuck am I supposed to think? Honestly, Joe, I'm surprised you haven't figured it out yet. I guess you're in for a huge surprise. Agreed. Honestly, Joe, if anyone is going to call anyone daddy, it's definitely going to be you calling me that. 
I'm staying out of this fucking conversation. Donald, I promise your obese sausage finger having asked that if it's a good surprise, I will call you daddy. Well, 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 I guess you'll be calling me daddy real soon then. For fuck's sake, you two, if you're going to talk like this, just arrange a fucking hotel room or some shit. Can we change the fucking topic and actually talk about Pokemon or something? Okay, calm your fucking titties, Barack. I was just playing around. By the way, guys, I know I get to help pick the remaining two Pokemon with your guys' consent. I have a couple of ideas if you guys don't mind. Well, I'm all ears. What are you planning, Joe? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on now. Let's keep this a fucking surprise. Just like Donald's mystery Pokemon that we don't know yet, we'll do the same with the remaining two, Joe. Is that okay? How about this, then? The Pokemon Donald and I decide on, we'll keep it a secret from you, Barack, and then the Pokemon Barack and I choose, we'll keep it a secret from Donald. Holy shit, Joe. I did not think your senile ass was capable of thinking to that level. I love how you're adding this surprise element to our playthrough. I fucking love it. Okay, I am officially convinced that you two should just book a fucking hotel room. That being said, Joe, that's a good idea. Fuck you, Obama. By the way, Joe, your surprise is coming up real soon. Please fucking stay awake for it, would you? Come on, Donald, don't start with your bullshit now. I've been doing a pretty good job of staying awake, you have to be honest. Okay, fine, I'll give it to you. I just can't predict what your old ass will do, that's all. Well, I can't wait to see Joe's reaction to your surprise, Donald. I'm honestly surprised he hasn't caught on yet. Holy shit, I might actually fall asleep if you're just going to keep spamming Ember with Charmander this whole fucking time. Shut the fuck up, Joe. Just watch. Besides, aren't you the one that gets fucking hard over the Charmander line? Stop your bitching. Well, here we fucking go. Let's see what happens. I am so fucking confused. All right, Joe. Here's your fucking surprise. What? Oh, fuck. Cuck, I forgot. Oh, fuck. I'm feeling so many fucking feelings at once. I don't Jesus know what to feel. Christ. Oh, fuck. This is one hell of surprise, Donald. Sorry, I mean Daddy. Daddy Donald. Oh, fuck, I love this surprise. Thanks, Daddy. Okay, Joe, keep your fucking pants on. By the way, I'm gonna run to the Pokemon Center real quick. Yeah, that's fine, Daddy. Oh, fuck. Man, I still can't process it. Jesus fucking Christ. Jesus fucking Christ, Joe. Are you done busting a fat one? Like, holy shit. I wasn't sure if you were going to keep your shit together or not. Honestly, does Jill need to come check up on you? Oh, fuck, guys. Not that young girl, too. Jesus, this is too much for me to handle. Holy shit, Joe. Calm your senile ass down. I know evolving Charmander was the surprise, but calm your fucking horny ass down now. And don't start with the girl, too. God knows where this will go if you continue feeling all these intense fucking emotions. Just please contain your thoughts and feelings until we're done playing. For once, Joe, I'm on Donald's side. You need to calm your fucking dick. Are you doing okay now? Yeah, I think I'm okay, guys. I just let out what I had to let out. My emotions were all over the place. But goddamn, look at that fucking Charmeleon. Okay, 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 okay. Let's just continue with the fucking game. We're coming up on catching the Pokemon that I'm wanting to catch. I'm really curious for which one it is, Donald. I can't wait for another fucking surprise. Yeah, no, fuck that, Joe. I don't think you'll be able to function if you go through another surprise like that. Just chill. By the way, Donald, I know your surprise was to evolve Charmander and all, but you do realize that the next gym battle is a water type, right? Charmeleon will be fucking useless. Fuck you, Barack. Shut the fuck up, Barack. I'm not stupid. You do realize there's still the Nugget Bridge and many more trainers to get XP off of, right? Calm your titties. Okay, calm down. I was just trying to make a point. Maybe you should train up Mankey more or hurry up and catch your mystery Pokemon so we can add more depth to the team. I'm not seeing much cooking except for you just spamming Ember. Okay, stop your bitching. I will do just that. Seriously, Barack, there was nothing wrong prioritizing the goaded Pokemon Charmeleon. Let Charmeleon cook. Joe, you're getting on Donald's level with regards to stupidity. Fuck Charmeleon you. is not good against water types, for fuck's sake. Maybe it could get away with it against Brock, but it will literally get torn a new one against Misty's Starmer. Okay, both of you guys, shut the fuck up. Barack, you don't need to explain something so simple to Joe. His demented and senile ass still wouldn't get it. And Joe, stop busting a fucking nut every time we talk about Charmeleon, holy shit. You're acting like this Charizard line is a regular Pokemon's evolution line. We're talking about the greatest Pokemon line of all time and the greatest Pokemon of all time in Charizard. Put some respect on its fucking name. 
Donald just let it go, just let him be? All right, fine. By the way, Barack, I'll finally be able to get that magic carp you were speaking of. Good shit, Donald. It'll be nice to add more depth to the team. It's much needed for sure. Depth to the team? What fucking depth? This dog shit of a Pokemon can only use Splash. Great fucking depth if you ask me, Barack. Shut the fuck up, you demented old hag. By the way, what should we name the magic carp? I'm just going to name it Obama. Hmm, okay. Why, though? Is it because Gyarados is such a fucking beast like me and my presidency? Have you finally fucking recognized greatness, Donald? Yeah, no quite the opposite, actually. Like Joe said earlier, Magikarp is so fucking useless. All it does is fucking flop around. Just like your presidency was a huge flop. Fuck you, Donald. At least I didn't get impeached more times than Joe falling up the stairs to the Air Force One. Do you not feel embarrassed? Okay, both of you guys calm the fuck down. When are you going to catch your Pokemon Donald? Perfect timing, Joe. I'm actually going to catch it right now. Okay, let's see it. Fuck yes! Seriously, Donald, now I understand why you said a king like you. But make no fucking mistake, you are certainly no fucking king. I like the Nidoran addition to our team, though, so I can't complain. Of course you can't fucking complain. Nidoran is such a fucking beast. Holy shit, I'm losing my fucking brain cells right now. Another fucking Pokemon that won't be fucking trained. Another fucking Pokemon that has a weakness to water. Another fucking Pokemon that's just going to sit there being useless until way later in this fucking game. Honestly, do you guys like to make my fucking life harder with the amount of useless Pokemon we have on our fucking team? Shut the fuck up, Joe. You can't lose any brain cells if you don't have any left. Besides, you wouldn't know a fucking thing about great things taking time. Trust the fucking process, bitch. I promise you that Nidoking will be one of the best Pokemon on our team by far. Donald, I agree with you about Nidoking being one of the best on our team, but I simply cannot agree to the name you just gave it. King Don, like in what fucking world are you King fucking Don? What kind of delusional ass world are you living in? Not delusional, Barack. This is real life. I'm King Donald everywhere. Watch me wreck Mount Moon as King Donald continues to dominate. We'll see about that, Donald. Are you actually going to switch train Magikarp and Need Doran like Barack and I switch train Mankey? Or are you going to take the easy way out? Because Mount Moon can be as fucking annoying as you goddamn liberals, I am not going to switch train. I've already done so fucking much today. You two should fucking switch train, not me. Oh, look at this, America. Once again, this is another prime example of us doing all the fucking work and fat-ass Donald taking all the goddamn credit. I'm not surprised one fucking bit. Go ahead and cry about it, Barack. I'm getting the job done. You can't possibly bitch about that. But then again, you liberals bitch about everything, huh? So I'm not surprised. It's okay, just ignore dumbass Donald Barack. Since next time is my turn to play, I'll just switch train Nidoran and Magikarp a bit before we actually play. I'll clean up Donald's mess. Nothing new there, just like how I had to clean up his fucking mess of a presidency. Haha, <laughs> good one, Joe, good shit. I'm not fucking surprised that the liberals are sucking each other off right now. I'm dominating in Pokemon, you liberals, bitch. I dominated during my presidency, you liberals, bitch. Holy shit, I just can't fucking win when it comes to you two, huh? Well, Donald, you're literally avoiding doing any of the work when it comes to Pokemon. And you literally did no fucking work in your presidency. Honestly, the delusion that you put yourself under is concerning. Okay, let's take a fucking breath, you guys. Instead, let's focus on those legs that girl has. Jesus fucking Christ, the things that I would do. Shut the fuck up, Joe. I'd rather hear bullshit from Barack's bitch ass than hearing you get hard over 10-year-old girls in this game. You have some fucking issues, Joe. Some serious ones that you need to fucking get fixed. Seriously, Joe, I don't always go against you, but I'm with Donald on this one. That is a serious fucking issue that you need to get fixed. Like what the fuck is going through your mind and what the fuck is wrong with you? Have you ever thought about that? And have you ever thought about who you're married to and who you're sleeping with? Manchel, Michael, what's his fucking name, Barack? Fuck you, Joe, I wouldn't be talking. Maybe you should check up on Jill since she's in her advanced stages of decomposition. Okay, hold on, Barack, that's my fucking joke. What you said is 100% true, but don't take my fucking joke. Can we just fucking calm down so I can get past Mount Moon? It's already annoying enough having to go through this bullshit, but to hear you two bicker makes matter even worse. Shut the fuck up, Donald. 
Mount Moon isn't hard to get through if you're just spamming repels, using just Charmeleon and avoiding trainers left and right. You are literally taking the easiest road and making Barack and I do all the fucking work. Yeah, for real, Donald. I agree with Joe on this. That being said, let's try to end our session on a good fucking note. We don't always have to do argue, curse, and bicker at each other, right, boys? That's right, Barack. Just let dominant Donald cook. I've gone through at least 15 trainers. I got both Magikarp and Nidoran, and now I'm getting us through Mount Moon. Let me cook, bitches. I will say, Donald, even though I don't like how you're not using the other Pokemon as much, at least you kept on your promise, I believe, on not using potions. Unlike Obama's bitch ass. Ha ha, good one, you sleepy old goofball. You know what? I will take the high road so we don't have any more fucking arguments. Donald, you are indeed cooking, as Joe said, so keep that shit up. By the way, boys, you wanted me to train Mankey. Well, here you fucking go. Let Mankey cook. It's about goddamn time. I know I get hard watching Charmeleon, but I was falling fuck? asleep Loki just seeing Donald spam Ember. It's nice to see some variety. Yeah, for real, Joe. I want to erase my memory with what you just said about Charmeleon, but you are right. It's nice to see variety. This battle will go to show why you didn't need to spam. Growl in the gym. Battle against Brock, by the way. You should have just listened to me. Okay, shut the fuck up, Joe. Are you having a hard time completing your sentences now? Is your brain in the shit again? Stop complaining about how Barack defeated the first gym. We got the gym badge, and that's all that fucking matters. Okay, you're right, Daddy. I'm sorry, Daddy, but just beat me so badly. Jesus fucking Christ. Donald Joe's brain went to shit. We need to carry for the rest of the gameplay so he'll be okay when it's his turn to play next. Okay, I got you, Barack. Just watch how dominant Donald cooks. Both of you shut the fuck up. I can call Donald Daddy whenever the hell I want. What the that fuck? That does not mean that my brain went to shit. Look how Manky will one-shot this bitch-ass Onyx, by the way, Barack. Okay, Joe. Calm your demented, saggy ass titties, Joe. Mankey is two levels higher than Onyx. Brock's Onyx was level 14, while our Mankey was level 9 at the time. It's not the same thing. I secured us the win, so just accept how I did things. God damn you guys. You guys make it so much harder to play a kid's game like Pokemon with your constant bullshit bickering. Can you just let me cook with minimal distractions? Holy shit, how delusional are you, Donald? You do realize you're the main reason for our bickering? You're always throwing fuel into the fucking fire for fuck's sake. Okay, let's fucking calm down then. Joe, just let it go. Donald, if it helps you cook better, then we will stop bickering, okay? I don't ask much from you fucking liberals, but some peace and quiet is all I ask. Thank you, Barack, for taking the higher road and stopping your bickering with Joe. Jesus fucking Christ, Donald. Here we go again. I've been trying to watch you cook, but I'm not seeing anything. You say that it's because of Barack and I that you cannot cook as much as you want, but you're literally fucking avoiding trainers left and right, you obese pussy. Shut the fuck up, you wrinkly old hag. If you're so butthurt about me skipping trainers, then why don't you go back to battle them yourself? Maybe I will do that when we play next time, you buffoon. Okay, Joe, calm the fuck down. I know I got a little annoyed too at Donald skipping trainers, but don't waste our fucking time by you going back to battle them. We'll be fine regardless whether we skip a trainer here and there. Seriously, Barack? Are you seriously going to defend this bitch's gameplay? Skipping trainers, using just Charmeleon, and using repels like honestly, Barack? You know I'd fuck Charmeleon, what? but this is just bullshit. When you say disgusting shit like that, Joe, you give me no choice to but side with Donald. Just stop your bitching and let dominant Donald cook for fuck's sake. Holy shit, Barack, I never thought you'd say to let dominant Donald cook. Good shit, Obama. This is the first thing you've said right in a long fucking time, believe me. Well, I will take that compliment, Donald, because I am taking the high road. I will ensure that I am the fucking glue to our team. We all need to be cooking in order for us to become Pokemon masters. Are you with me, boys? I have no clue why the hell you just stuttered like Sleepy Joe, but I agree with you, Obama. Let's do this shit. Okay, calm your fucking titties. Let's see you beat the main guy in this fucking tunnel. You've been avoiding challenges left and right. Start cooking, Donald. Challenge? Seriously? Super Nerd Miguel is a fucking challenge? Holy fucking shit, Joe. If I was able to beat at least 15 trainers, acquire Magikarp and Nidoran, and navigate my way through Mount Moon, then why the fuck would Super Nerd Miguel be the ultimate challenge? Joe, you have to admit that Donald has done a fuck ton during his turn of playing this emulator. 
He never used a potion and none of our Pokemon fainted. You gotta give him credit. Fine, I'll give him credit, but let's not just dismiss the fact how he didn't train any of our other fucking Pokemon and avoided trainers. I will give him credit, but there's a fucking asterisk on this shit for sure. Like hell, there's an asterisk on this shit. Get your stupid hating ass out of here, Joe. How the fuck do you keep forgetting your favorite saying? It's not about how you win, but rather getting the win itself. But I'm not surprised that you don't remember that because, of course, you're in your advanced stages of dementia. Hey, Joe. What, Barack? Apologize to Donald right now. He played exceptionally well, regardless of how you want to look at it. I won't allow this bullshit, Joe. Apologize to him right now. Fine. I'm sorry, Donald, for hating on your gameplay. Although I would have done things differently, I will admit that you did an exceptional job of not allowing our Pokemon to faint. You definitely played well, and I'm sorry for criticizing you for it. Can you forgive me? Joe, of course I can forgive you. I just want us to not argue among ourselves. I want us to do the best we can so we can become Pokemon masters because that's our ultimate goal. Also, Barack, thank you for being the mediator throughout. I really do appreciate it. No problem, Donald. I'm just glad that we're all on the same page before it's Joe's turn to play the emulator. Are we done for today, by the way? Unfortunately, I have to go Barack. Pelosi keeps bugging me about signing some fucking documents, so I have to go do that and then head to bed. Jesus fucking Christ. I remember Pelosi's bitch ass. It's all good, though, Joe. I have to go as well. I have a golf event that I'm attending, so I'll be busy as well. That being said, I can hop on tomorrow, though. Sounds good, guys. Once again, great fucking time I had playing with you guys. Just know that we're one step closer to becoming Pokemon masters. Definitely, Barack. Let's see some of that same cooking we saw earlier, Joe, for your next time up. Oh, don't worry about me, boys. I promise that I'll try my best. That being said, I have to go now, so I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out, guys. Until next time. See you guys next time. Should be a fun one.